All right, now let's talk about coronavirus testing. Uh, on your screen right now, we can see that after the start of phase one of reopening, there have been some spikes in the percentage of positive tests in both Florida and Duval County. But for the most part, that number was on the decline from late April until around mid-May and has remained relatively stable ever since. And the coronavirus has brought economic and health care disparities in black communities to the forefront. Now, we know African Americans have been hit hardest by coronavirus. Here in Jacksonville, some people say there just isn't enough testing in predominantly black neighborhoods. So Renata DiGregorio is on your side explaining those concerns. Good morning. There are still new coronavirus cases every day, and some people believe there needs to be more testing sites like here at Lot J, but ones that are walk up and in black neighborhoods. Research shows the mortality rate for the coronavirus is almost two and a half times higher for black people than it is for white people. And so these onesies sites in in minority communities is totally unacceptable. We need multiple sites up. First Coast News spoke with several people who echo these words from State Senator Audrey Gibson. On COJ.net slash COVID-19 testing, you can find testing sites around the city. A lot are at CVS or Urgent Cares. The Legend Center is a walk-up site and open to anyone, but you can see it's miles from any others. The city spokesperson says the Cooker Park site was closed so that people wouldn't have to stand in the heat as we head into summer. She says the city's working on a plan with the goal of testing sites in every community, but didn't give more details. To fill in the gaps, that's where UF Health comes in, going into neighborhoods with the biggest health disparities, which are black neighborhoods. People that have said that they wouldn't have had access to, to come and get tested. So they have said, well, I wouldn't have, I don't have the means to drive, you know, into Jacksonville. Doctors say the virus has not packed up and left and stress the importance of wearing a mask. In Jacksonville, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.